All right, so we're smoking some ribs today. out of the bag so just these ribs have a thin membrane that'll make it very tough to eat if you don't remove it and um, recommendations are a, a spoon just get right underneath the membrane you just want to go ahead and grab a piece it's very thin problem is that if you don't remove it when you're trying to eat it it's going to become very chewy so the key here is a nice piece of paper towel. Go ahead and get that little piece of membrane you just took off. Just kind of peel it over. All right, so these babies have been in there in the refrigerator for about five to eight hours. So now all we're going to do is we're going to transfer these over to the actual smoker. All right, so at this point the ribs are in. Um, all I want to do now is I want to put in a meat probe just to be on the safe side so that we know where we're at. Put it right in the middle, right where the meat is. Alright, we're going to go ahead and close this up. I look at the set temp, leave it at 220. It's slowly rising. Time, we'll leave it at 10 hours. We're, we'll know to turn it off before then. What we're going to be doing with these ribs is we're going to be doing a 3 2 1 method. What that basically means is that you're going to cook it, you're going to smoke it for 3 hours on the rack the way you see it there you're gonna pull them out you're gonna wrap them up after three hours you're gonna wrap them up in foil and a little bit of apple juice stick them in there for two more hours that's the two method right there the three the two and then after two hours you want to pull them out one more time take them off of the wrap and put them on the rack again the way you see them there for another hour that's the one so the three two one method you're looking at 220, low and slow, and using the 3 2 1 method. Don't forget about putting in chips, which I just did. Put in your chips in here so you can get that nice smoke going on. Any second now, you'll start seeing the smoke come up, and you know you're in business. All right, so my ribs have been cooking for about three hours. So the first phase of the three, two, one method is over. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna pull out the ribs. I'm gonna go wrap them, put them back in for the second phase, which is two. And let's see what they look like. Oh yeah, there you go. All right. We you have your ribs here. All we're gonna do, do right now is we're gonna go ahead and put some apple juice, a little bit of apple juice in there. Get a little bit of that flavoring.
All right, what you want to do is you want to wrap it up. Nice and tight. And there you go, you want to stick this back in stick these uh, back in there for the phase two, which is uh, three, two, one, you're looking at number two. Stick them in there for two hours. I put it with the meat facing down or the bone up uh, specifically so that I can go and put these on the rack with the meat facing uh, towards the bottom, uh, bone up, all right? So you wanna go ahead and do that, put, stick them in for two more hours and then we'll go to the next phase. All right, so we're at the tail end of our two, two hours of cooking in foil. So what's gonna happen right now is we're gonna pull, go ahead and pull them out um, at this point. The next step would be to unwrap them, put them back in for another hour, and let them get a little bit of that crust going. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this out, let some of the steam come out. All right, so I'm going to pull those babies out, and then I'll see you inside. These ribs are ready to be unwrapped. So we'll go ahead and unwrap them. Kind of hot. Oh, yeah. Put them out of here. spatula here as you can see I tried to get some of the thing out on one of these came off hmm. there's one if you look at the spatula It literally is falling off the bone. All right, so now that you have them, I, I did bone side up again. The reason you want to put them back in is because right now they're like super tender. You know, I'm gonna go stick them back in the smoker for about an hour and then they should be ready to go. What I want to do now is I want to add a little bit of barbecue sauce on top of it. So you can give it that little nice little taste to it. All right, so we're gonna do, we're gonna open this up here. Let some of the smoke come out, steam. Oof. Oh. There you go. Pull this out. Oh man, these things are tender. All right, so basically we're just gonna grab some, some other it on. Grab some here, some other, some more there. I mean, these these ribs are literally, I mean, the bone is just there for aesthetics because you look at these ribs and you can literally just slide the bone off of each of these ribs and there wouldn't be any issues here. These are going to end up cooking a little bit longer about another 20 minutes 20 30 minutes tops you don't want to overcook them either all right let me stick this back in there oh, look at that look at that just pulling it off oh yeah just close it up again and we're going to give it another about 25, 30 minutes. And we'll come take them out. And they'll be ready to go. All right, so we're at our final stage in, 
and the three, two, one method, which is eat your ribs, right? So these just came out of the smoker. As you can see, they're nice and ready to go. This bone kind of fell off as I was trying to take them out. So what you want to try to do is you want to try to cut your rib and then you can remove one. Leave that meat there. Cut this rib here. You can remove one. And this last one you might want to just pull it out. See, I'm just pulling it out there. I just kind of cut through there. I mean the knife is I mean it's coming out. Oh, I'm gonna keep it in there for aesthetics. I'm gonna cut here. I'm gonna pull this one out. And literally it's there. I mean it speaks for itself. And then the last one. So that's the three, two, one method, three hours of cooking, two hours wrapped up, and then one hour to stiffen it up a little bit, and you're good to go. That's your ribs, three, two, one method. Thank you for watching.